So what we have here is a hockey puck, and this is running at 25 minutes per second. So a snapshot, I guess. And we have some streamlines coming from upstream to downstream. And it's really cool. Like this is a lot more interesting flow than what I thought it would be. You have the pressure distribution over the puck, so you have the low pressure on the side. You can see on the on the front there is some sort of high pressure, as you'd expect, because it's stagnation. But one thing that's really interesting is as you rotate around, you can see that the streamlines from the top come over the top as expected, and then it comes down into the wake. But then it goes to the right slightly, and the ones from the bottom come up and goes to the left slightly. And so this sort of shows how the streamlines uh, are moving, how the flow is moving. So just there you can see that the flow coming around the side of the left side is going up and to the right, whereas the flow on the right side is coming down and to the left. So there's this swelling motion. As we rotate around, you can see that even better from this side. So for some reason, there's this um, crossover of these streamlines and they're not just coming together at the back and going forward, it's this swelling motion. Another interesting feature is that from this angle, you can see that this is the bottom of the puck and the streamlines are not staying in line together. They're like diverging. And that's, I think it's probably because there's some um, low pressure here on the sides, which are pulling these, this flow up a little bit so that it's natural for the streamlines to sort of maybe diverge a little bit as they go downstream. So that is really cool. And that is an awesome, just there is an awesome let me get the, um, stagnation flow. With this um, video here, this shows some animated streamlines. The flow is coming over and it's swelling around. And with this, you can sort of see how the flow is moving. So there's obviously some turbulence here, which is ex expected, it's in the wake. But how the streamlines are moving, they go down and then come back up and sort of zigzag around. As I play this more, you can see some of these streamlines moving like that. So that's really cool. It's like those ones just there. They shot up from the base up. So there's massive upwash on this side, but on the other side, there's this massive downwash. See these ones here again, that's cool. This video is one of glyphs. So these show the arrows of where how the flow is moving. And we're starting at the base and we're going to be moving up the puck. And you'll be able to see these uh, little arrows move around as we saw in the streamlines, how as it goes to a certain height, the arrows move one direction and as it goes a bit higher, they then swing back and come the other way in the wake. Just, just there. So just there, the arrows moved to this side and now we go a bit further and it should swing back just now. It's starting to swing a little bit. And there we go. So that's pretty cool. And this video is the same plane, but it's now the Z velocity. So up and down. Red indicates it's going up through the page, blue indicates it's going down through the page. And this plane here is at the base, so it's um, expected that the flow hitting the front is going to be going down because it's below the stagnation line, but then it comes back up behind. The interesting thing though is that this is well below the puck. It's about another half puck length underneath. So this um, velocity distortion field happens this far away from the puck still. The puck is massively disturbing the field. And another really cool thing that's interesting is that you have obviously these two regions here where the flow is going up, but directly after it, you have this region where the flow is going down a little bit. So it's a very convoluted uh, flow pattern here. And now we can see what we saw before with how the streamlines on the right, they were going down. This is what this is showing here. The we're just at the base of this puck now. The streamline, the flow is going down. And as we go higher, this should reverse. So just here, now we're getting the opposite happen where the flow from around the left is going up. And right now we're at the, the top of the puck and you see there's a bit of an asymmetric flow here. And as we continue going up, this pattern will still exist. So now we're at almost half a puck length above, puck height above the puck and you still get this velocity distortion. 